Hello, everyone. Um, as my colleague said, I'm Philippe Pinto, uh, in charge of business development at Topadot, in this case for the MIR region. Well, I invite you to get to know a little bit more about us visiting our booth in Hall 25, so all around to the right side at booth number two. You can also scan this QR code because we can contact you uh, for further details. So uh, to speak a little bit more about uh, Topodot, who knows uh, what is Topodot? OK, I just have two hands okay, over there, another one. So well, it's a good excuse to talk a little bit about the company. So uh, differently than my uh, previous colleague, uh, we have been developing the software solutions for, um, well, since 2011. We are a company based in Orlando, Florida, but we have offices around the world. So Portugal, well, my location, uh, I'm proud to say that, uh, in Romania, in Dubai, in China, for a specific reason, basically to support our customers 24-7. And uh, speaking about the customers, you have some insights over there. Uh, more than 6,000 customers across 700 companies. So um, uh, just such a small team is doing great uh, uh, since the past years. And uh, well, since not everyone knows about Topodot, uh, what we offer. So basically, um, we offer a total process solution uh, to, um, to provide digital twin production at the lowest uh, possible cost. And we are not offering uh, software solutions. We are offering, like was presented, a comprehensive process. So something that uh, at the lowest possible cost, you can get a deliverable in uh, the shortest time frame. Okay? That's the main goal. And it's why uh, we have built this, this process for you guys that uh, uh, maybe use uh, mobile scanners, uh, static scanners, you see all this type of equipment uh, around. Uh, you can split this workflow, the geospatial workflow, in three main stages. Uh, and basically, it's represented in this uh, pipeline. So uh, initially, the data acquisition, okay, data registration, maybe some ground control points. Uh, and then it's when the green part, so the top of that part, starts. Manage the data efficiently, so you will deal with uh, thousands of, of, uh, of gigabytes of data. You will deal with uh, massive uh, data collection, so you need to manage it properly. So this starts the uh, productive process, okay? So you start being fast by organizing the data properly. Then. Uh, some of you just process data uh, captured by others. So you need to assess it. You need to check if the quality is good. Because at the end, well, it's, uh, it's your reputation that will be uh, in front. So you need to check and do this quality assessment. And then the extraction. So basically, uh, what brings me today? Uh, the comprehensive process to get a deliverable right away. So rather than uh, speaking too much, I want to give you a small demonstration today, OK? Just for you to have an idea, we really focus on infrastructure, so transportation corridors. Uh, these are some of the applications that you can run, like uh, any road topography or asset extraction, any rail topography and asset extraction, 3D modeling of things like bridge modeling, Dyno modeling, etc. So basically, the foundations of a digital twin. It's it's great to have uh, point cloud data, to have three D models. But what really an engineer and architect needs, it's a simplified model. It's a CAD drawing. It's a GIS database. So you need to simplify their lives, right? I think everyone can agree with me. So. Uh, and after simplifying their lives, you can also report for them. You can uh, create the documentation. And like my previous colleague said, per basically present a report for clash detection, for vehicle or tunnel simulation. Well, just uh, provide insights how the cross slopes of a specific road are, or maybe provide the road geometry. But you need to do this efficiently. You cannot have a crew of 50 team members. You need to do this in a competitive way as fast as possible, but keeping the high quality standards. So this is what Topodot offers as a software solution. 
So like I said, I prefer you to see more than hear me. So let's start a quick demo, OK? So well, you have a mobile mapping data set, how to extract, for example, the painted stripes in an automated way, just playing with the intensity of the data, getting either the continuous lines or the dashed lines, like I said, simplifying life for an engineer, basically simplifying tons of points, millions of points, into just a polyline, 2D, 3D, whatever you want. But basically, you are getting a final deliverable to this engineer. The same for other horizontal signage, like um, the arrows, the stop signs, the bus signs, painted in the ground in an automated way. Of course, we don't want to trace this manually every single element. And maybe some of you want to generate a DTM, some contour lines. So how you extract the ground, I would say, of 5,000 kilometers of project uh, in such a productive way, without pre-classifying the data, without cleaning the data, so using the raw data from your scanner. So you'll be uh, able to see over there. So no data cleaning. You get the ground shots. You get your ground information automatically without performing any kind of pre-classification steps. Another way, well, speaking about ground and DTM, well, you will need to have your brake lines. You will need to have a way to extract curbstones, guardrails, New Jersey barriers, um, fences, uh, retaining walls, etc. So with this process, we are, looking, we are using a LiDAR data set. We are using a millimetric system. So we want to be precise. We want to get this data fast, but as I said, keeping the high quality standards. So you supervise the tool while you are doing the extraction. You are doing also the quality control. So you don't have that stuff like sending data to someone, receiving the data, then having to quality control, sending back, and so on. This is all money and time that you are spending. So with top of that, you accelerate that. Another example of a curbstone extraction. So in this case, you get it automatically. As many lines as you want. So if you prefer to have the back, the top, and the bottom of the curb, you get it. You have a QA accuracy procedure, again, keeping the high quality standards for a digital twin foundation. So this is not a black box. This is an engineering solution for you to have a high quality deliverable. Just lastly, uh, another example, in this case, for vertical assets, things like traffic signs, trees, light poles, etc. So with AI, you get the, all of them listed, sorted by type, for example, sign, pole, tree, whatever you want. And you get all the information, things like height. So not only the x, y, z, but the height, the tilt. And you can even include more attribution to each type of element. So you are quality controlled your funnel deliverable in a very fast way. Just uh, one last example. Well, this is very tough to handle, in, especially in urban environments, how to trace these ADA ramps or driveways without having to, to trace every single line. So you can have these complex models already built in your feature list, just placing them and reusing across multiple projects in an automated way, just adjusting when something is not standardized. And getting a 3D model of this element for your CAD drawing, for your GIS shapefile, whatever you want. And basically, uh, to get as a final deliverable, like I said, digital twin, 3D model, a simple CAD plan. So you get a simplification of your point cloud with all the lines, all the points, all the polygons. So you are simplifying the engineering life. So, well, maybe some of you are asking, but why should I use Top of that and not, for example, Philips Solution uh, or any other? Well, it's, it's very simple in our perspective. Uh, nowadays, you need to be as much competitive as possible. Everyone asks work for yesterday. Everyone asks for lowest cost. Uh, 
but e everyone uh, has costs in production costs. So the, the purpose of Topodot, and basically it's the break even why we place Topodot in there against competitive software, is due to the productivity. So uh, we are saying and we are providing a high productive environment that leads any company for any project to high returns. So the main goal is to have our technicians performing as less as possible manual tasks or to have as less technicians working in a project as possible to lead to high profit per project. So this uh, keeps your, your company very productive or your uh, governmental organization very efficient.